Hey guys, so here is the last demo for email marketing. What I'm going to show you guys in this demo is how to perform an A-B test. Um, and just kind of quickly taking a step back because I don't believe we've covered this concept in class yet of what an A-B test is. But an A-B test is where you're testing one single variable in your campaign um, in order to see what version of that variable um, works best. Uh, works best could mean different things. It could mean uh, whatever drives the most clicks, whatever drives the most opens. Um, as you'll soon see, there are about four or five different variables within an email that we could test so that it uh, so that we can measure which version of that campaign or of that email um, was more effective. So let's jump right into it. And I think just once you kind of get a, a visual, it'll start to make a little more sense. So what we're going to do again is go through the motions of creating a new campaign and we're going to select email again, except this time we're going to go to the far right and select a B test over here. So I think MailChimp does a pretty, pretty good job of explaining what an AB test um, is. They're kind of giving you, you know, some basic idea of what it is. So we're going to name this campaign. Um, I don't know, maybe. So my shop is running a Christmas sale and I want to see what version of the promotion I'm going to offer through email um, engages my subscriber list more or drives the most traffic to my website. So let me click on begin. And this is a campaign that I'm, let's say, let's pretend I am sending out to my BizHack class list and I'm going to send it to the entire list. I'm going to click on next. So here's the big takeaway with, um, with A-B testing. These are the four variables that MailChimp allows you to test. And you can test up to three combinations as you see there. So what that means is if I want to test the subject line, I'm going to send, I'm going to send out two different versions of the subject line. to 50% of my list. And as you can see, you can increase that or decrease it. And as you kind of start to toggle this to the left and right, you know, you'll see how uh, these numbers here kind of change a little bit. Um, so what this means is I am sending two different versions of the email in which the only thing that's different is the subject line. The content of the email is exactly the same, but only the subject line is going to be different. Um, and the reason I would do this is because I would want to test and uh, see if there's a more, you know, which of the two of the subject lines is more effective and drives uh, perhaps the most opens, the most email opens. Here, you, as you can see, you can also test out the from name. So the from name, you know, maybe I would want to test out something like my my actual name versus my business name. So in the case of BizHack, it would be to test um, the emails coming from BizHack or the emails coming from Dan Gretsch and see which one of those two from names generates the most opens. Same thing with content, but here we're kind of perhaps playing with some of the pictures used within the, the body of your email. So, you know, the text will remain the same, but you have different, um, you know, you have a different image that you want to use, or you're considering different types of images. So you would, you know, run an AB test to see which image within the body of your email um, generated the most link clicks, perhaps. And then lastly, <clears throat> excuse me, lastly, you have your send time. So what would we what we would be testing in this instance 
is, um, you know, sending out the same exact email, but at different times um, to my list. And again, you know, you're kind of splitting it. You know, when we say we're sending it to 50% of recipients and I'm sending out two separate send times, you know, uh, what that means, or in this particular case, it changed it to 100. I just caught that. It means that 50% are going to receive it at a certain time and the other 50% are going to receive it on another time. So, uh, you know, the, the, the whole thing is that one subscriber is there, there's not going to be any overlap, meaning one subscriber, a subscriber will not see both versions of the email. It's going to MailChimp is going to divide your list in half or at least whatever portion of the list you, you want to test it out with here. So that way um, there's no overlap and not one subscriber see two versions of the email. So one group will see one version, you know, group A will see version one, group B will see version two. And we'll see you know, what sort of generates the most opens or most clicks, whatever it is that you might be testing for. Um, so I think that, uh, so let's just kind of go through the motions here. We'll do two subject lines for this demo. Let me go over to the next step. So here you can see, you know, here you get to name what your taste is, um, what your test is. You get to personalize the two fields. So if you guys recall, this is where, you know, you open or you greet the subscriber by their first name. And then down here is where you're going to enter email subject one, subject two, and notice there's only one preview text line. So for this particular test, again, we're only testing that one variable in this, and that one variable in this test is subject line. So they're both gonna have the same preview text. Here you get to track what it is that, um, or rather you select what it is that you want to track. So I think track clicks and track opens is pretty standard. Um, so that's where you want to sort of leave. But, you know, as you can see, that's what they kind of left there by default for us. In fact, they don't let us, uh, we, we can't uncheck it. So at the very least, you have to track opens and clicks. Um, well, I think actually this would be a good place to stop because, uh, you know, I got this error message because I left everything in blank. Um, the next step would be, you know, designing the email, which we're not going to get into because it, uh, you know, we already covered that in the previous video. Um, but I think the biggest takeaway here is just understanding what an AB test. So just to quickly recap, an AB test is where you're testing one variable of the campaign. Um, or rather, you know, so you're testing uh, by sending out different versions of the same campaign and the, um, for purposes of email marketing, you know, we're, we're testing, we're sending the same email out, but testing uh, MailChimp allows us to test any four of, you know, any one of these four variables here. So again, subject line where, and, and when you do so, you know, again, there's not going to be any overlap. There's gonna Mailchimp is gonna separate your contact list into Group A and Group B, so that um, someone in Group A does not see an email, the the version of the email that Group B is seeing. Um, so again, uh, here we have the option to test different versions of the subject line, the from name where you want may want to test sending um, the from name being the business name or your or your actual name. Um, testing some of the content of the email. So perhaps testing out different versions or different photos within the content of the email. And then uh, the, the fourth variable that MailChimp allows us to test is the send time. So uh, perhaps sending your email at 10 a.m. versus sending it at 12 p.m. and see at what time you got more opens or more, more link clicks. Um, so that concludes the demos for email marketing.
Um, again, if you need any assistance um, on any of these features, you know, reach out to your coaches, reach out to me. Um, I really want to see you guys do well on this first milestone assignment, and I know you guys will. Um, so I know I'm looking forward to uh, seeing those emails, and we'll, we'll review them in class like we did last week. So, um, all right, guys, looking forward to seeing you again. I'll, I'll see you guys Monday night. Have a great rest of the week.